Okay, so if you're asked, Candy Chavez, as a matter of fact, I want to know if um, there will be any justice coming for Fox News and Tucker Carlson. So we'll see about that. If you like the video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, Candy, here's your question. Candy Chavez asks, will there be justice coming for Tucker Carlson? She also asked about Fox News, and I may do that in a later video, but this one, all about Tucker. So, Candy Chavez, thank you so much for asking. And here it is all about Tucker Carlson. I wicked him, of course. So, in 1969, Tucker Swanson McNear Carlson was born on May 16th in the Mission District of San Francisco. So, he's a Taurus and the elder son of his mom, uh, who was an artist and a San Francisco native, and dad, who was a former reporter, director of Voice of America, president of the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and a U.S. ambassador to the Seychelles. So, his father. Shells. So his father was placed, um, sadly, at an orphanage when his father uh, was uh, only a, uh, a baby. But he was adopted at the age of two years old. And um, in his maternal uh, history, uh, in the 1960s, his maternal great-great-grandfather was a Swiss tannery worker who immigrated to New York. So he's got some immigration in his uh, history there. Now, in 1975, when, he, when Tucker himself was in the first grade, they moved and they moved and, were, and he was raised in La Jolla, San Diego, uh, overlooking La Jolla Beach uh, and Tennis Club. His father owned property, though, in Nevada, Vermont, the and uh, islands in Maine and Nova Scotia. Imagine that. So in 1976, at the age of six for Tucker, his parents divorced and his dad was granted custody of both boys. His mom pursued a bohemian uh, lifestyle and in 1979 his dad uh, married an heiress to the Swanson uh, Enterprises. In 1984, his dad unsuccessfully challenged the incumbent Republican mayor in San Francisco. Now Carlson briefly enrolled at college boarding school in Switzerland, but he was kicked out and he got a secondary education at a boarding school in Rhode Island where he dated his future wife, the headmaster's daughter. Of course he did. In 1980, 1990 rather, he became a print journalist for the Weekly Standard. In 1991, he got a bachelor's in history at Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut. Then he tried to join the CIA, but was denied. So he pursued journalism, and his father said uh, they'll take anybody. <laughs> Beginning as a fact checker, checker, then he uh, worked as a reporter at the Arkansas Democrat Gazette in Little Rock, in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, in 1999, Tucker wrote that Trump was the single most repulsive person on the planet. Later, he worked as a columnist for the New York Magazine and Reader's Digest and writing for Esquire, Slate, The Weekly Standard, New York, The New Republic, The New York Times Magazine, The Daily Beast, and The Wall Street Journal. Wow. Then 2000 to 2005, he was a CNN commenter, very good, and or commentator, I guess it is, and co-hosted The Spin Room. That's why I got that uh, whirling dervish on the uh, intro. Uh, the Spin Room. Uh, the Spin Room, uh, is, uh, so he was the commentator. 2001, he was co-host of Crossfire, and then sadly, with his father, he was involved in a plane crash landing on, run on a runway in Dubai. So I guess everybody's okay. In 2003, he was hired for PBS's Tucker Carlson, Unfiltered, and he asked Britney Spears if she was opposed to the Iraq war, to which she said, uh, we, should just uh, we should just trust our president in every decision. And a profile of his journey to Liberia with the Reverend Al Sharpton and others got him a National Magazine Awards nomination. Now, 2005 to 2008, he hosted uh, Tucker on MSNBC. 2006, Tucker was a contestant on Dancing with the Stars and the first 
Mars and the first elimination. And he reported uh, live for MSNBC during the Israel and Hezbollah Lebanon war, a little more serious side of him. Uh, but uh, slurs on air uh, provoked uh, accusations of racism, sexism, and advertisers boycotted his show. 2008, Tucker was canceled by the network due to low ratings. In 2009, Fox News hired him as a news contributor. He had been a political analyst, appearing as a guest or a guest host on various programs before his own show premiered. And in 2010, Carson, uh, Carlson, Tucker Carlson, can't speak, uh, co-founded and served as the initial editor-in-chief of a right-wing news and opinion website. In 2013, Tucker replaced the co-host of Fox & Friends Weekend. Now, 2016, during the Trump presidency, he was described as perhaps the highest profile proponent of Trumpism and a blend of anti-immigrant nationalism, economic populism, and America first isolationism. My goodness, there's a lot of isms. And he hosted Tucker Carlson Tonight on Fox. Uh, he replaced uh, he replaced Megyn Kelly after she left, after she left, period. And then in 2018, the show was boycotted by advertisers after he said uh, immigration makes the country poorer, dirtier, and more divided. Good grief. And then uh, 2019, there were calls uh, to fire him after he called women, I had, didn't hear this, but after he called women like dogs and extremely primitive. But Nielsen ratings uh, placed him second to uh, Sean Hannity. In a lawsuit, a judge agreed with Fox's uh, defense that reasonable viewers would not would have skepticism over statements that he makes. Reasonable viewers would have skepticism over statements he makes. So that's scary. He engages in exaggeration, non literal, literal, literal commentary, and not actual facts. All that from the judge. Uh, 2020, Tucker Carlson Tonight became the highest rated cable news show in the U.S. His head writer resigned after the writer used a pseudonym to post racial, sexist, and homophobic remarks on a message, message board known for defamatory content. Carson told people he voted for Kanye West. Now, all that was 2020. Now, 2021, Carlson announced a multi year deal hosting a weekly podcast and monthly specials called Tucker Carlson Originals on Fox Nation. His cable show was the most watched in the U.S. He is an American paleoconservative, a paleoconservative being a person who advocates older traditional forms of conservatism, extremely right wing. And that is who is Tucker Carlson. So Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow Joe Lee uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well at the Clown College here uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing. And if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are. Are, are gonna mean. I mean they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at. So you know I do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh, and you know if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards otherwise you're only gonna see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time and uh, I think it's just that you're missing out on a lot. So you know this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot I love using these. Well, I guess we have to ask the question. I mean, is Tucker Carlson going to, um, you know, will there be justice? Will he suffer? Will there be some legal consequence for all the lies, for all the misleading things that he says on air? The United Cups. Mm, doesn't seem particularly uh, relevant to me. So first, but let's do this. Let's just do three cards to see if he believes what he's saying. I don't think he does. I think it's all performance. And remember, he started out in life as a Democrat and then switched over like so many others. Uh, this uh, Republican Party seems to be just a moneymaker for folks who want to lead with some sort of right-wing uh, controversy. But let's see, first of all, three cards, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson, you believe the stuff that you that you spew out. Tucker Carlson, do you believe it? Let's do three cards. One, two, and three. Okay. Put these away. Put 
We're going to need him in a second because we're going to find out about justice. So do you believe, Tucker Carlson, do you believe these things that you're saying? Signifier for that? Judgment. I don't know. Judgment. Um, so judgment for me, and remember, this is a circus uh, uh, tarot. These uh, couldn't be more perfect for this sort of a person and this uh, personality and in the sideshow business that he's in. But judgment, do you believe what you're saying? And is it a judgment, are you just leaving it up to the hordes of people to use their own judgment? I don't know. The second card for that, do you believe what you're saying, is the six of cups. Well, this is, again, harkens back to the way things were. This sounds like Make America Great Again. So judgment, Make America Great Again. The third card in this is going to be the Ace of Swords. And, you know, the Ace of Swords uh, represent, to me, truth and justice and rules and law. And I wonder if there's not some element of him that actually does believe this is some sort of a call to action what he's doing. We've got judgment, we've got remembering the way things were, and we have a big offer of justice here, of truth, of rules, of law. I'm going to say there's an element of him that does, that he's convinced himself that there is a truth in what he's preaching. I sure do. I wonder to what extent, though. Um, what's a good question to determine that? To what extent does he does he believe all of that? Tucker Carlson, to what extent do you believe um, this stuff? To what extent do you believe all this stuff? This is going to be one card right out of the middle. To what extent do you believe it? Page of Swords. Uh, so the Page of Swords are swords are action, uh, fire, uh, plans. Uh, moving forward, to what extent do you believe it? This almost looks like this person is breathing fire. Um, I'm going to say it's all an act. It's just all an act. With very uh, little value, but in the royal suite as a page. You know, the page is the least um, uh, valuable of the royal cards. Uh, this page looks like they're going to shove fire down their throat. Good grief. I think he's willing to do anything to hang on to the fame. But let's see then if he's going to, if there will be justice. And we'll start out with a dyadic cross, and if it's interesting, we'll make it a full Celtic cross. But um, will Tucker Carlson, will there be justice? Funny that, that one of the first cards we pulled was a justice card, but will there be justice um, for us in the, um, the carelessness that he goes about uh, with his... Uh, public persona. Will it be justice? One, two, three, four, five, and six right there. Will there be justice for what he says uh, to the public, knowing that they believe him? I mean, he has to know that. So this is the nine of pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, Will There Be Justice? Uh, and this shows someone who is just really just loaded. I mean, she's swimming in a pool of, of uh, pentacles here. And um, so this tells me that uh, this person is really happy with all the fame and all the money and all the attention that they've garnered. Will there be justice for him? The challenge to that is the Four of um, of the wands, which are uh, small celebrations. Now, the four of wands are always, uh, um, wands are always action, uh, fire, uh, planning, moving forward, really, and uh, with a plan. And the four of wands is small celebrations. So will there be justice? No, I think that the only thing that will be is that the, you know, the fame will become smaller. But uh, I don't think there will be justice. The basis of this reading is then temperance. Temperance is, uh, and just as it shows right here, balancing it out, getting it to the moderate temperature that will uh, keep it going. And so the basis of this whole thing is him keeping things moderately, uh, you know, aggressive that he can still manage. The past of this reading is the sun. That, that's just as well as being the star. Although some would say this is really shining light on the issues that he has here. And if he, there is some part of him that believes some of what he's saying, it could be that too. The sky in this reading is the Ace of Cups. It's a great big offer of emotion, and that's what he offers up all the time. So that is his uh, pie in the sky, is to offer up this emotion. You can even see how impassioned he is when he's giving uh, his broadcasts. Uh, the likely outcome of this, then, is death. Ah, okay. So if there's going to be justice, it could be that just that this cycle ends for him. 
and doesn't go forward. That's what I would say. So yeah, this is um, very interesting as a matter of fact. So the form of justice that will come to him will be the fact that you know, this news cycle, this uh, show that he's put on will eventually come to an end. But then, you know, this always means that something else is going to start again. So let's see if we can find out if that's what's going to happen with him. Because he's still uh, not an old man. I mean, he's got a lot of uh, journalism uh, with a small J years left in him. So this death, does this mean an end of his career, an e irretrievable uh, end to his career? Look at that. Broken heart. I just don't think it's true, but that's what the cards say. That this will be, this end will be a broken heart for him. Will it be something else that starts up? Strength. And one more card. That sun come back again. So there's always going to be a fire that, uh, that keeps him going. Very interesting. Well, that's what we've got. You know, the resolution of these uh, uh, card pulls is not always satisfying, uh, but that's what the cards say. I could be wrong. It could be just a bad day. They could mean nothing whatsoever. But uh, in the end, when we said, will there be some sort of re resurrection after the end of his cycle, which is his current cycle of all this, these lies that uh, go on right now, um, we got uh, the broken heart. So yeah, three swords, broken heart. And I said, but you know, will there be something else? I said, there's strength there. And we will see the sunshine again. So, yeah, these guys are like roaches. You can't kill them. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.